G'day guys, Cam Wild Wild Touring and welcome to another episode. This is only going to be a little short one, a bit of a review on the sleep system or the swag stretcher that I use. I'm coming up to two years of owning it and I absolutely love it, so I thought uh, it'd be a good opportunity for me to have a bit of a chat about it. Hey guys, sorry for the quick interruption and also sorry that I've got no voice. Um, Perth Full Drive Show last week absolutely smashed me. Anyway, uh, every week in the lead up to the new year I'm giving away gear that we use and I'm giving away merchandise as well. So all you have to do to go on the running for that is make sure you subscribe to the channel. When you watch my weekly uploads, look out for the code word somewhere on the screen here. Bang it in the comments section below and we'll pick someone at random before the next video comes out next week. So this week, while I was filming this episode, one of the boys is in the background having a shower and he's bloody butt naked in my camera shot. So I thought it was a good opportunity to give away a couple of beach towels because if he was wrapped in those, it wouldn't have been a drama for me editing this. Anyway, cheers guys, back to the episode. So I'm actually down in the Dontra Castro National Park kind of area in the southwest of Western Australia, and I'm riding shotgun on one of Pete from WA Camping Adventures uh, trips. So I'm not actually filming the trip, that'll all be on his channel, but I thought I'd come along and um, film this review for you guys in this epic location. Boys are set up down there, it's beautiful. Anyway, I've been running the Culkine Big Boy Swag Stretcher Combo for just under two years, and I absolutely love it. It is by far the most comfortable um, sleeping system I've ever had for, for uh, this kind of camping. This is not the first stretcher I've ever had. This is actually the third one I've had. Uh, and the first two were just not much chop. I'm a big dude, I'm over 100 kilos, I'm over six foot tall. I need something pretty big uh, and pretty sturdy because I toss and turn and roll around a lot at night. And the other ones you just, didn't, just didn't last more than a couple of trips. I camp probably more than the average person, not as much as some people, but I'm lucky enough to spend quite a bit of time under canvas and I do need something that's pretty um, pretty reliable and pretty robust. So uh, the Calquine swag absolutely is all those things for me. Anyway, I'll quickly set this thing up and then I'll have a bit of a chat about some of the features I love about it. Look, to be totally straight with you, the stretchers are always a bit of a pain in the ass to set up. Doesn't matter which brand I've looked at, they all sort of have the same kind of idea of how they set up. And it's always a little bit awkward that first sort of bit that you're unfolding it and flicking it out. But the Calcine stretcher, like I said, it's just really solid. It's not light, but it's bigger than a lot of other ones on the market and it's really, really solid. Righto, we're all set up, doesn't take too long. I don't think there's anything really stand out about the way that it sets up, any different to any other swag on the market, um, but it is relatively easy, relatively quick, and yeah, no complaints there. It definitely has other standout features that I think are done better than any other swag on the market, and uh, I'll chat to you about some of those. So the swag and stretcher are 1100 mil wide and 220 mil long, and you've got 70, five centimeters or 750 mil of headroom inside the swag so it's very generously sized the swag bag i think was an extra purchase uh, i can't remember exactly how much that was i'll put it on the screen but it's it's way bigger than the swag itself so you've got heaps of room so if I, i've actually rolled up my um you know king single sleeping bag in there i haven't got the pillow just because i don't like my pillows getting swashed in my swag but there is plenty of room for your pillow and all your bedding and everything inside that swag bag. So yeah, it's huge. I never have dramas uh, fitting it in, which can be quite a problem with other ones. 10 mil aluminium poles. The frame is all steel. It's 13 ounce mold proof, weather proof uh, canvas, UV uh, stabilized canvas. Heavy duty, really fine mesh. It allows a breeze to come through, but I'm not getting bugs through it, which is great. Heavy duty zips, that stuff's all pretty standard. Weather flaps front and rear. Again, you've got uh, the zips are in the inside for these little breathable uh, foot end and the head end, which is great. You can get a really good breeze through this thing. Probably where it differs a lot from other swags is you can see the way that the swag poles actually fit into the stretcher frame. I love that. So the swag is the exact right width for the stretcher. They're made for one another. And yeah, I just like how it all locks in. Uh, I think, I'm pretty sure when I bought this swag, like I said, it was like two years ago, but I'm pretty sure when I bought it, there was actually like a Velcro loops that go here to hold that down, but I've never bothered to use them. And once you're in the swag and you've got some weight there, it doesn't matter anyway. On that note, totally freestanding because of these, these weather flaps are held up with this spring steel thing, which sort of fits into the stretcher frame and hooks on there with these um, uh, D loops. And that just works really nicely. So totally freestanding. 
There is these little supports here that you can clip on to give it some more sort of structural rigidity. So if you're doing any sort of adventure sports inside the thing, it doesn't move too much. But like I said, I toss and turn heaps when I'm sleeping and I don't have a problem um, with how sort of rigid and um, stable this thing is. You probably saw when I was assembling the stretcher, the first end pole is really easy to get in. This second one is it's a little bit harder to get in, but that's what uh, makes this really taut. That's that stretcher um, material on top. That's what sort of tightens it and makes it taut, so it's so you don't sag too much when you're laying in there. I'm a side sleeper, a front sleeper. Um, I move around a lot, and I have no problem sort of sinking in the middle or anything like that. 70 mil mattress inside, and the stretcher material itself makes for a really comfortable sleep. It's also quite well designed in terms of being um, fairly weatherproof. Like I said, it's got some sort of coating on the canvas or something to, to sort of repel water. It is weatherproof. The storm flaps are well designed to keep, you know, you'd have to have a crazy driving sort of wind and rain to get any sort of moisture through the ends there. And I quite like that the sides have Velcro on them and a really big flap there that goes over the sides here. So even if, like I never actually fully zip mine up, I just sort of flap it over like that, attach the Velcro, and uh, it doesn't matter if it rains or whatever, I don't get any water inside to wet my bedding. So it actually rained last night. It's also been in the swag bag on the roof of Pete's Cruiser and it rained on the way down here. And uh, all the bedding inside my swag is dry. So that absolutely works well. I am a fair weather camper and we don't get much rain on the West Coast, but when I have, had a bit of rain on camping trips on the odd occasion. I've had no dramas with anything getting wet inside the swag. But yeah, that's pretty much it. There's not too much more I can say. It just works really well. I think the price point is bang on. But I do have a 5% discount code that works on these. I've never broken anything. I've never had to replace anything. Um, it's a really simple setup, uh, similar to other dome swags on the market, but everything's just done well. The research has been done. The company's been around for long enough to sort of fine tune and improve things along the way and it shows because it just works really well. I'm happy with mine nearly two years on. I'll be sticking with Cold Klein for a while. It served me well. And that's about it. My mouth's dry. I'm gonna go have a drink, set up with the boys, get the fire going and have a good night. Cheers guys, hope you got something out of that and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>